Hello everybody, this is Sinue Montoya from Drone Quote, and today we're going to be going over a video as to how to draw a roof and create a roof report with the Drone Quote Measure tool. So just a few suggestions here as you start out. First, you're going to want to understand that in order to move around the roof like so, you have to first hold down the space bar on your uh, keyboard and you'll notice that my cursor turns from a, cro a little uh, cross to a hand and that'll allow you to grab and drag around otherwise if you just move around or click on the screen you're going to create uh, a point of origin as you see here which is not how you move around so you have to see if you if you try to move around like this without holding down select or spacebar it'll continue creating points of origin so the other thing I'll share with you is that this is a very simple roof. It's a very uh, small file in comparison to what can be created when you make either ortho mosaic maps of bigger buildings or more complex roofs. Uh, the more pictures you take, the bigger the file. Again, this was a very simple roof, so about a four to five megabyte file. No problem handling uh, online with the server. However, if you have like a 15, 20, 30 megabyte file of a large ortho mosaic image or a large roof, it would be in your best interest to take a screenshot of the actual ortho mosaic map zoomed out where you capture the whole building and upload that as your source file uh, for the roof report. And then whether or not you, you upload the source file or a screenshot, you're definitely going to want to have the source images available so that you could zoom in uh, on the source image as opposed to zooming in on the ortho map because you'll get a, a better uh, image quality on the actual source image that you than you will on the ortho mosaic map and that's just based on how those ortho mosaic maps are created they're all stitched together and you have a little bit of a um, distortion in some of the images like for example this vent right here looks a little distorted on the ortho mosaic image so just an example uh, but something you'll want to be mindful of as you start to draw out some roofs. The way in which you'll start is literally click where you want to have your first point of origin drawn out. In this case, I'm going to go here. You'll notice it's a pink point of origin. That's your first click. The next ones are going to be uh, green. And if you notice on the top left of my screen, I have a magnifying glass so that I don't have to manually zoom in on each point. And as I move to the left side of the roof, hold down spacebar. There we go, that's one section. And in order to close off the section, you're going to want to click back to your original point of origin. All right, so here we're gonna draw this section and we're going to use existing points of origin. There we go, it just turns it pink temporarily. Now, on this roof, the valley that we were just looking at right now here, um, it's easy to miss. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to how you're drawing this out because the last thing you want to do is finish a roof and then realize you missed a valley or some other detail that you have to go back and delete a section off of. Although I will show you how to do that here in a moment. So you'll notice here that I'm going to go off to this metal roof section, okay, and I click halfway through the existing line. The software will, will automatically understand that you're trying to merge into an existing line, and it'll allow you to do that. There you go, see? All right, so now that roof is done, uh, we'll go on to the other sections of the tool. Um, we have edit, label, slopes, dimensions, the preview, and the actual report. So we're going to go to edit next. And this is where you can move around some of the image, or excuse me, some of the lines. Um, you could delete sections. Um, you could edit different sections here as well. Um, so what I want to point out is that there's a little lip of the roof that we're not covering here, right? This gray area right here, right below the green, is not a very 
big section of roof that will be left out of the calculation of the roof surface area. However, you want to make sure that you're accurate, right? Uh, so you could take this point and drag it down a little bit. Go to the opposite side. Zoom in again and drag it down. There we go. Now let's say I want to delete a section uh, like this section right here, right? Let's say I drew it in, in, as an error. Highlight it, it'll turn green, well, uh, brighter green than the rest of the image. And then hit delete on your keyboard and now it's gone. Now, I deleted that section so if you notice, when I hover over it, it doesn't turn that green um, color. That means that there isn't any roof section that's being accounted for right now. So you're going to want to go back to draw, use existing points, and there it is. All right, now going on labels. You have all your labels here on the right hand side. I always start from the top and work my way down. So the ridge, valley. Rake. Oh, you know what? There's a hip right here, too. Rake. Eve. And that draws out the roof. Now, I could zoom in here. Well, I don't have to zoom in. I can use my magnifying glass and see that there isn't a gutter here. But let's imagine that there was a gutter, right? So you're going to go to your additional labels. And if you notice, they're dotted. Your main labels are solid. And I click on gutter. So now that tells me that that line serves a dual purpose, dotted for gutter and solid for Eve. Now, there isn't really a gutter there, so we're, we're going to want to delete that. Go back to edit and... We have to delete the whole roof section, unfortunately. We're working on, on getting that fixed, so it's just that one. So if you notice, I just made an error. All you got to do is simply hit delete, and it'll delete that section of roof that you're working on. And any orange line, as you see on my screen right now, is an incomplete line. So I have to redraw some of the labels because they were deleted. So these labels at the top were still in place, but Eve, I deleted Eve right now, this Eve section here, and that's the only roof label I have to redraw. Now, for the slope of the roof, you're going to want to take a picture of the slope head-on. In this case, this is a head-on picture of a slope that we did. Um, it's not the exact same house, however, it, the purpose still uh, is the same. So what you're going to want to do is look at Bring your drone, as you're flying, bring your drone to the level of the ridge here in the middle and make sure you capture a slope head-on. This other slope right here would have worked as well. However, there was trees that were in my way, so I couldn't fly to capture that slope image there. But again, you're going to want to fly the same height as the ridge and look for that slope head-on. So this is a... Actually, you know what? We can just input it into the tool. You're going to want a new slope from image. So that's the new slope from image. Here's your top your top point. You're going to want to click at the top. Your bottom point, it's a 412. And that will automatically input the slope into your drawing. If you notice, 4 right here is already selected. Now we know this section of roof right now, this green section, has a very low slope. So we're going to give it the lowest slope without being zero so that we still factor or excuse me, still account for there being a slope because it does actually have a slope. It's just almost non-existent. So now you notice that most of the house is a darker shade of peach or whatever the color is. And uh, this section here is very light pink that tells you it's lower in slope. Um, now your dimensions. So the thing about dimensions is that when you go and you fly a property, you're always going to want to have a frame of reference or a uh, reference measurement, I should say. And in this case, we laid out a measuring tape, and that's right here, right? And you see it in your magnifying glass. So we laid out a measuring tape 
Oh, and by the way, when you zoom in, the magnifying glass moves a lot less because you're really zoomed in. If you zoom out, the magnifying glass is going to jump around a lot. Look at it, pay attention to it there. So it's, it's hard to like get the actual spot that you want to pinpoint unless you really zoom in. All right. Uh, <clears throat> so in this case, going back to your source images, uh, you'll want to make a habit of taking a picture of what your measuring tape was put out to so that when you create your roof report, you don't have to remember any of these numbers, right? So this, what this, Measuring tape is 15 feet laid out, and that's this measuring tape here, right? So we're gonna zoom in a little bit, and then we're gonna clock, click on draw measure line. And my first point is gonna be right there. There it is, and that was 15 feet. So now that just gave me measurements on everything else. So there's my roof right there, 72 feet here if you round up, 27 feet, 31, I mean all your measurements are here, right? Now the reason why you want to make sure that you're accurate with that reference measurement and with your slope is because it's going to calculate the square footage of sloped roofs with that reference measurement and with your slope. You're going to go to preview, gives you your distances on all of your sections. There's 225 feet of eaves in this particular image. Total square footage is 2,691 square feet. Then you go to report, and here you have a completed roof report of the image that you just worked on. Click on save, and you're good to go. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions. Uh, info at dronequote.net or please uh, go to the website and, and uh, dronequote.net and uh, click on the chat button. And we are in Pacific Standard Time. Again, thank you so much for watching and have yourself a wonderful day.